Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It could have just caused more problems. That's the reaction of Guam Education Board Chairman Peter Atta after senators voted to override Governor Eddie Calvo's veto of Bill 58 and change the procurement process for the repair of Simon Sanchez High School almost four years later. I look at it this way. They're putting the rules of the game in the middle of the game. This legislation that uh, my own cousin introduced is a good one, but not in the middle of the game. The override passed with 13 votes in favor and two against. The only senators to vote against the bill's passage include Senators Will Castro and Tommy Morrison. Senator Adda fought for the override, arguing it would be a more effective way to fix the school. I'm confident enough in what Bill 58 will do. I am willing to put my career up front right now. Meanwhile, Governor Calvo argues Bill 58 would cause further delays and there's no guarantee it would prevent future protests. It's a loss and disappointing and hurtful for me as a public servant because I serve the people of Guam. And if some of those folks down there at the legislature think that this was a victory or for them and a loss for me, no. It's a loss for those students at Simon Sanchez. Calvo also wrote to Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson on Tuesday, urging her to sign a letter of substantial interest. He claims would pull the Simon Sanchez High School community out of the procurement deadlock. However, she had yet to respond before the override passed. The continual delays have led to the further degradation of the campus and what could be double session in August due to a lack of functioning classrooms. The things that we've been going through, it's not very easy. Principal Carla Mesnayan also attended today's session. Right now, one of my biggest worries is that I don't have enough classrooms to accommodate all my teachers, even with the sharing that we have to do. So definitely, we do need to um, outfit some of the classrooms that we have. So any help that Simon Sanchez can get will be greatly appreciated. Senator Fernando Estevez calling out his colleagues for creating the controversy in the first place, adding that they need to stop playing the blame game. But the political pandering, oh, let's get some legislation out real quick because the, the kids need it and the children and I want to get reelected needs to stop. And I know I'm probably making a lot of people upset with those comments, but it's coming from the heart. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.